Well, the site was meant to move you, but the tower itself might move just a bit too much. In a rare opportunity, CBS2 Morning Insider Vince Gerasoli traveled to River East, where the Vista Tower is rising high through the winds of change. Rising 93 stories above the city, each day the Vista Tower looks less like a steel skeleton and more like the third tallest building in Chicago. But before it's complete, we want to point out one floor in particular. From the ground, it already looks a little bit different, and it's unique to the city. There's 10 floors of units still above us. Wow. Though the views are spectacular, it's not what we're here for. We call this the blow-through floor. This is the 83rd floor of the building. No. Like its name implies, the blow-through floor will remain mostly open, allowing winds to blow through and keep the building's towers from swaying too much under their force. A blow-through floor is a way to, as the structural engineer and the wind engineers describe it, confuse the wind and basically dissipate some of the effects of the wind. The need for a blow-through floor was discovered after construction began, when a model of acclaimed architect Jeannie Gang's thin, elegant structure was placed in a wind tunnel for analysis. 24-foot vertical grates will now be spaced out around the floor's perimeter, matching the window colors of the surrounding floors. Winds right now are passing through this floor at about 35 miles per hour, and you can really feel them. That has an awful lot to do with the way this floor was designed. It actually encourages the winds to come this way and then pass on through. If you want to get technical, it reduces some of the acceleration, so it's kind of the whippiness factor of the movement. Though they exist in other cities, the Vista's blow-through floor will be a first for Chicago. You can find a blow-through hole at 515 North State, but it's only an aesthetic feature. And the Council on Tall Buildings reminds us most of the city's taller structures, like the Willis Tower, sway several inches each day. So whatever direction the wind comes through, or comes from, we can alleviate that pressure. So in the Windy City, they stand prepared 93 stories tall. In Lakeshore East, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. Creating a blow-through floor also cost developers a lot of cash. The floor is roughly 8,000 square feet in a building where property can sell for upwards of $1,000 a square foot.